They say every piece of software has its flaws, and when it comes to Windows, one of the most irritating is the folder that will not die, nor be deleted, no matter how many times you try. Instead, you keep getting the message, this is no longer located in such and such file path. Verify the item's location and try again. Wait a minute, I'm seeing the darn thing. Why can't Windows see it and let me delete it? Ah, uh, yes, that's right, because all software has its flaws, and this is definitely one of them. As an online teacher, I download literally hundreds of student files daily. So I see this so-called flaw on a semi-regular basis, so often that I made this video for myself on how to remove the folder that will not die. Here's my method. First, open a command prompt. I click the Start Pizza button, then type in CMD and press Enter. Next, type CD, which means Change Directory. Add a space, then type a forward slash D, which is a trigger for changing drive and directory. Open up the Properties menu of the folder that will not die by right-clicking on it and pulling down to Properties. The key piece of information is next to Location. You're going to enter this exact information using the command prompt. Very carefully, type in the file path you found next to Location, being sure to preserve the same spacing and capitalization. Once you've done that, press Enter. Now type in the following command. DIR space forward slash X. Then press Enter. Now you'll see a listing of every file and folder at that location. Folders are called directories or DIR. More importantly, you have two lists of their names. The list on the far right is the full name. Use this list to find the folder that will not delete. Here you see, I found I hate this folder. Now look directly to the left at the short name. It consists of the first six characters, a tilde, then a number, usually one, unless you have more than one copy. At this point, you should probably record this short name. Jot it down, you're going to need it. Now. Scroll to the bottom until you see the command line again and carefully type in the following RMDIR for remove directory space forward slash Q space forward slash S space then the short name of the problem folder. Look at what you jotted down to make sure you've got it exact. Once you have it typed in, press Enter and watch the magic happen. Yes!